Hey, what's up? This is George with Apogee Electronics, bringing you some more cool tricks to get the most out of your Apogee desktop interfaces. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a feature called Loopback, which is gonna be a super cool way of being able to combine audio from both software playback, as well as live sources like microphones. So the reason why loopback has become such a requested feature is because when people are doing things like reaction videos on YouTube or perhaps live streaming, there's a lot of different contexts where you might wanna have software playing back music that you're making or that you're reacting to and being able to combine it with live mic sources. And if you've got one of our desktop interfaces, the cool thing is this is built into the devices you already own. So check it out. To get to loopback, we're gonna have to do two things inside of our Control 2 software. The first is we're gonna go over to where it says playback. So if I'm listening through headphones, I'm gonna go up to where it says playback one and two, and we're gonna set that to be our direct mixer. Once that's selected, the other part we're gonna need to get this routed up is this button that says assign to software inputs. That is our feature that's gonna do for us loopback. Now, you may be a little concerned that we see a warning the moment that we press it. Oh no, have we done something wrong? No, far from it. We're just trying to prevent a scenario where you accidentally have feedback going on in your system because what loopback is doing is it's allowing us to combine that software output as a software input. So if, for example, I was inside of Logic and I had something doing input monitoring and I was playing back, we'd have that feeding back onto itself. So the key thing is when we're using this feature, we're gonna turn off features like input monitoring. A little pro tip for you. Now that I have that routed up, the cool thing is, is not only is it listening through my microphone, but I am also able to play back things from the outputs of my computer. So if I have one of my tracks I've been working on here inside of Logic, I can go in here, press play, and not only am I gonna be able to hear that, but I can also combine it with what I'm doing with my microphone. And if I wanna change the balance, easy as pie. I've got my little slider here that allows me to adjust its relative volume and my microphone's relative volume. That's loopback. It really is that simple, combining software playback and live microphone sources.